Zuguman now has a shot at basic education at a school funded through collaboration between the Universal Basic Education Commission, the state government and the office of the MDGs. Working together in the areas of strengthening the capacity of uh, teachers through projects like the Federal Teacher Scheme, um, where about 2,000 uh, graduates of the National Certificate of Education have been recruited to serve for two years uh, in order to augment the number of teachers to improve on the teacher supply in Plateau State. And through programs like the uh, Special Teacher Upgrading Program, which is also funded by the MDG office, the National Teachers Institute has been involved in training over 12,000 teachers for Plateau State. The rolling hills of Plateau State, renowned for its beauty. For the children going to school here, the scenery is a backdrop to getting a good education. And getting a good education means getting the books and materials for children to study from. This is our bookstore where we have uh, assorted books for our junior secondary schools and also uh, primary schools. Um, some of the books are here. This is uh, primary science. We have procured uh, over 300,000 copies of uh, books in the four core subject areas of uh, English, Math, Social Studies, and Science for distribution to the junior secondary schools and also primary schools uh, in the state. And you can see that it is customized as property of the Plateau State Universal Basic Education Board, and we have added that it's not for sale. This is very important to us in order to avoid diversion of these uh, books to other states or to private schools. The Universal Basic Education Policy was launched in Nigeria in 2004. It focuses on the quality education in the first nine years of schooling and it's been adopted by most states in Nigeria. Nigerian authorities believe that this places the country on track towards achieving not just the goals of universal primary education by 2015, but also junior secondary and some level of tertiary education. Enrollment levels continue to increase in Nigerian schools. The MDG's office reported that about 90% of children enroll for primary education, and officials say it is work in progress. The MDG 2, which addresses um, universal basic education, and then some of 3 that said, talks about the girl child. We've invested in scaling up the girls' education project in um, the Ministry of Education over the two years, um, and that has really focused on the access issues uh, for girls. We have also looked at the quality and looked at teachers, the 45,000 that we put in for the Federal Teachers Scheme into rural areas. It's a new program. It has had its teething um, pains, but we're hoping that that will be continue to consolidate and we've had the first batch, uh, about 32 states have taken that over from the federal level, so we've been able to put in another um, set of teachers. <music>of the plan to improve on basic education in Nigeria is to start at the top with teachers. This includes in-service training of teachers already on the job. Agnes Omogumi at Digbeson of Lagos has been teaching for 30 years. She says she is witnessing something remarkable after all the years in front of the blackboard. She is just one of the beneficiaries of the in-service training programs. The programs are funded through debt relief gains by the office of the MDGs. She says it's made her teaching a lot more efficient. Now they can understand more. Before we cannot finish this book, this is their mathematics test book. Now I'm in the last page because this is third time of the year. I'm in the last page. That means I've finished the scheme of work. The Federal Training Teacher Scheme which was also designed as a, a, a sort of a pilot scheme to stem the tide of insufficient teachers in schools, the fact that some state governments cannot afford to recruit more teachers into the schools and so on, which was started in 2006, October. 
the state also benefited from that. Some 40,000 teachers trained under the federal scheme have been deployed to rural areas. Some 5,000 teachers were trained in the crucial areas of math and science. They have come with new science kits to make the subject come alive for their pupils. This is a primary school science kit, which you can just pack into a bag, hang as a backpack, and move to wherever you want to go. But it has facilities for any simple science experiment at the basic education uh, level. You have this in every training center in this country, because in 2007, we increased the number, and we now have over 200 of them in all the centers. It has made the teaching of science come alive. They can not only see on paper, they can feel, they can touch these things. And it has uh, greatly improved their skills in certain areas. They are more creative and they are more adventurous in that they want to um, put into practice Men, uh, most of these things that they learn in the class. Many teachers across Nigeria now say they are more passionate about their jobs and the pupils have been exposed to better methods of teaching in the classroom and at play. Although a lot has been achieved, there are still more challenges. It's estimated that some children of school going age are roaming the streets instead of going to school. The challenge is to get these children behind desks. But at the same time, there are capacity issues as there's been an explosion of enrollments at primary schools. My school is in the River Rhine area. The children, during the rainy season, they don't come to school. And the uh, parents have not helped in this area. They don't set, they don't, they keep their children at home. And uh, it's like parents have no interest in their pupils. The books that are given to them, even when teachers give them homework, the children come back to school not doing the homework. The, the state has a lot, is facing a lot of challenges, particular, particularly when it comes to infrastructural development. Uh, we have about uh, almost 1,000 primary schools. You know, most of the schools uh, have uh, dilapidated. If you look at the kind of teachers, the, 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 the kind of teachers we have. When some of us complain that, oh, we don't have good teachers, we don't have, um, you know, uh, teachers to pull the basic education system through. But this, us, our teachers, teachers from Nigeria, are in Gambia, teaching, doing very well. When I say do very well, I'm not even looking at the monetary aspect, but the fact that they are giving the right thing to the children. There are more than 90 colleges of education in Nigeria with 400,000 students training to become the teachers of tomorrow. In the latest figures to hand, the MDG's office spent over 1 billion naira to provide a better learning environment for these teachers in training. And in tune with the 2015 deadline set at the Millennium Summit, the MDG's office wants to ensure that by that date, all children in Nigeria, both boys and girls, will be able to complete a full course at primary school.